but that is no problem whatsoever because we can now now just off the coast of sicily there is a small island called panarea and it is very beautiful take a look it has a small town of panarea on it some small boutique hotel that all that all have a view to the beautiful volcano but this island has one big problem it is very small it consists of mainly a mountain a hill and it does not have an airport at all the only way to get there is by ship Let's take a look at this immense, immense pier right here. With what you come here. Everybody, I had the idea. Would it be possible to build an airport on this island? And I wasn't the only one. Because you can now buy the island on the Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 in the marketplace. Yes, someone built a fictional runway. Actually, two fictional runways on this hill. Let's go ahead and buy this for 12 euro. I mean, what do we expect in terms of runway size? The island is only 2.8 kilometers long. Which, as a runway, would not even be long enough for, you know, for example, the A380 at all. And there's practically no flat space here. Although, I do have to say here on this part, there could be a runway, but it would have to be sloped. And well, we obviously have two runways now, which is quite uh, interesting. I don't know why two runways are actually necessary. Of course, they are very much sloped and they're not very long at all. This is the runway 03 and the runway 09 here you can see. And they're what, like 500 meters long. That's not long at all. So this is meant as a small flying club for small airplanes. But I mean, this would be free space in real life you could actually build something there here is the hangar which has been nicely modeled you can even get inside take a look at that we have an ev tall plane some offices as well take a look at this that's actually pretty pretty well done look there's even a bar here and some gambling machines yes that's very important here is a tunnel where all the cars come from and i guess a parking lot with three cars which is probably the amount of cars that exist on the island anyway. But something here is revolutionary. We've never seen that before. The airport has practically two levels. There's, of course, the first one that we're on right now with our Cessna. And there is a level two, which is needed to reach the runway or the helipad. Yes, the runway 2-1 here, which is sloped. I don't know what this is. Ah, that's a very brilliantly placed tower. Of course, from here you can see barely everything. I mean, not really the runway here or the runway... Actually, you cannot really see much at all. Anyway, it's about time we try out this airport now. What can fly here? Will we see Airbus A380s um, do passenger service to this island? I don't know. Let's go um, uh, the upper level here. Yeah, look at that. Caution level two. Making sure not to strike our propeller here. Nothing to worry about. We have to give in quite a bit of power here to make it up this hill. Great. Here's, by the way, also the fire station. That's good. And here is what uh, is some sort of a stabilization wall, I guess. This airport is, after all, kind of built into the mountain. So here we are at the runway, which is very much sloped indeed. Yes, full power in the Cessna 152, which shouldn't struggle. The only thing I find a bit hmm, sketchy is the amount of trees that are here. I don't think that will be very safe at all. Take a look at this. We've taken off from this runway. And there's some sort of a checkerboard here. Yes, everybody, all is well. Of course, we all know a plane that would perfectly work here, and that's the Twin Otter. You know, flying here, you know, doing some island hopping. No worries whatsoever. Come on, let's do this. Trying to land this plane. This is absolutely fine. Look at this. Beautiful. And we can now touch down nicely. Ah, oh, yes, beautiful. Even an outside view. And we're able to stop in no time. The slope really does help us stop. There we go. Take a look at this. Now, let's actually talk about sizing here. This one is obviously a little bit longer. You know, the one that goes this way, it's 1,700 feet long. While the runway 2-1 right here is only 1,300 feet long. So not long at all. But I think we'll have no issues flying the A380 here. Let's maybe finally use a jet. 737. Come on, we love it. Okay. Let's, uh, that's gonna be interesting. Come on. It's very nicely sloped, though. And we are surely able to use every inch of this runway, am I right? So let's do that now. Here we go. Let's go full power and release the brakes now. Like that. Beautiful. Right now, as we roll, we can put the flaps out. I think this should work without any problems here on the 737. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Barely not okay, but okay. And we're not re really running this airplane on low weight at all. So it's actually quite realistic. We might want to move on to the longer runway though. And I think here we actually do have a chance of flying to this beautiful Sicilian island. Take a look at this. Yeah, 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 you're fine. You're gonna land on a runway. It's a 
supposed to be like that. Yeah, yeah. Stop complaining, 737. You should be able to handle this just well. Yes. Let's do this. Okay. A bit hard, but, you know, Reiner flies the 737 too. You're used to this. Everybody, yes. With the ingenious slope, we're able to stop in no time whatsoever. Yes, it once again saved the day. And in case we overrun, we have this overrun protection thing here. Or I have no idea what that's trying to be. Anyway, that was rather successful. We should maybe even use a bigger plane. Hmm, I mean, what could be the next step? I think the 707 is quite a bit bigger. Yes, everybody. Now, I never really had a close look at the 707's short runway performance. I mean, we talked about the 720B a lot, which is kind of the smaller brother, and that one will work well. Yes, everybody, come on. 1,700 feet of runway, which is uh, not a kilometer. That's kind of like only 800 meters, really. So, come on, let's go and uh, give in full power. You're going to be great at this. Oh, I've crashed with the wing. I've crashed the wing. I've crashed into... Sorry, sorry. All right, second attempt. You can do this. You can do this plane. Just not crash into the bed. It's just not going to fit, is it? Is, is it going to fit? Uh-oh. Barely. Barely. It did fit now. It did fit now. No worries at all. Everybody, the 707 is crashing into some lights. But that is no problem whatsoever. Because we can now... Okay, maybe it's a problem of width, really. Let me try if we can maybe... Maybe this runway fits a bit more in terms of widthness, you know what I mean? Uh, come on. You can do this full power. Don't you dare strike your wing, okay? Don't do that now. It would be quite unhandy. Uh, 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 that was very close. Come on now, you can do it now. Look at this, look at this, look at that, look at that, look at that, look at that. Yes, yes, we are able to do this! And we're able to... Okay, we crashed. Okay, I think we've reached the limit with a 737 already. Especially when it comes to taking off. We might be able to land here, though. Okay. Okay. Fuck. Okay. 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 It's a problem of width. The airplane's just too wide. It just won't really fit there without crashing into something. All right, I'm a little bit worried. This is now the A300, which doesn't have very wide wings, especially compared to the 707. And as you can see, yeah, the wings are a bit shorter. We shouldn't be crashing into those. Uh, let's maybe use every single inch that we can get here. Um, come on, full power, A300. You can do this. You're a good plane. You're a big plane. Full power. Come on, you can do this. You can do this. Oh, come on, I want all the spoolage. Everything here. Yes! Come on, Airbus. You should be able to take off without any worries. Full power and also put those flaps down now. Start putting them down. Toga, take off. Fa no! Who, honestly, who designed this airport? They were definitely not in the right mind because who, what are the, what are those? What are those nets here? That's so dumb for an airport, actually. Genuinely. Look at that. We're gonna crash into... Noth okay, nothing now. Noth all right, that's good. That's good. Come on, Airbus A300. Give me all your your power. We almost... Uh, huh. Hmm. I guess we need a plane that is a little bit higher and won't crash into things. And into those weird runway lights. How about the Airbus A380? And I, I genuinely mean it. All right, now we're in trouble. A380. Doesn't really fit on the ramp very well at all. But, well, it's a plane that can take off on very short distances, you know. Um, so, uh, let's maybe see if we can take off here. Come on, full power now. Uh, you should be able to do this. Full power into the uh, engines. All right, here we... Okay, we are in even more trouble. We are in all a lot of trouble. Let's maybe try if we can land here. I don't know. Maybe on this one, there seems to be a little bit less obstacles here. Yeah, let's... Let's be honest, I mean, the size of the runways isn't a problem at all. There are, you know, islands with even shorter runways. It's how weirdly this airport is built with so many obstacles. Now, is this a realistic concept? Probably not. Definitely the dual runway makes zero sense, you know, for anyone to build, really. They would never do that in real life. But maybe the single runway right here. Maybe they would do that. But I doubt that this, uh, you know, air island really does need an airport at all. Come on, A380. Fly, fly. Fly what I'm... Ta do what I'm telling you to do. Mm. Hey, you know, let's be fair. Stopped. 
This is absolutely stupid of a video. So yes, if the island of Panarea would ever have an airport, it would only be able to serve like the Twin Otter, genuinely. And sorry thank you guys so much for watching this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. As always, good night. And a special thanks goes out to my members, my supporters, <laughs> Guns Killer, R27, James Duram, That Dude, Anime Gods of Gaming, Derek, Insider Plane, Nishititsu Finer, Professional Jamal, Ryland Williams, and New the York. You've got beautiful names.